uh, we could not able to finish combined ratio yesterday also we got holiday so uh, before taking the end uh, aspect of ratio it is compulsory for us to finish the combined ratio aspect first so today first and foremost i am going to take uh, the problem that was question number 10 i have asked you to get me your income state vertical income statement and vertical balance sheet i think few student must have got it and based on that we are going to solve this question So the same question, question number 10, we had combined ratio. So today we'll be going to take care of combined ratio for the same question, page number 78. So I hope you are going to assist me. The first combined ratio will be Bolo return on. We started solving. Return on investment. What was that? None of you are having the book. Return on capital employed. Thank you, Shiva. Return on capital What was the formula? What is the formula for return on capital employee? Operating. Very nice. Thank you, Aryan. The formula is oh, sorry. operating net profit plus interest upon capital employed two hundred. So get me the value. What is the value of operating net profit? How much you got operating net profit as? Only Aryan and Shiva is getting me the answer. What about remaining student? 95,000. Plus, what is the amount of interest? Do we have? Okay. 
इंटरेस्ट वी हैव थैंक यू अनुराग रोशन दीपेश चलो बी क्विक यू कैन अनम्यूट एंड यू कैन स्पीक इट टेक्स लॉट ऑफ टाइम यार ट्वेंटी थाउजेंड Right by capital employed. What was the total fund employed? From balance sheet, you will get. So this you have got from income statement. Next, you will be getting from balance sheet. How much you are getting? Twenty two lakhs. Into hundred. What is your answer? What is your answer? Three lakh fifteen thousand divided by twenty-two lakhs into hundred. Fourteen point. Thirty one percent. Next, next will be what? Return on. next will be return on total asset what is the formula net profit before tax Plus interest upon total asset. In two hundred. So what is NPBT? So three lakh twenty thousand. Three lakh twenty thousand. Plus fifty thousand divided by. I believe total asset we got on the top also. यहाँ पे कहीं मुझे total asset लिखा था twenty nine lakhs. Am I right? Yes. Hundred. 
So how much it is? 340 divided by 29, 11.13%. Next. Return on investment, if I'm not wrong. What is the next one? Next return one. on proprietor fund. Return on proprietor fund. Okay. Then it will be net profit after tax. Okay, divide by proprietors. Two hundred. Am I right? Just verify once. Why proprietors funds is nothing but shareholders fund. Proprietor fund is only there is no difference between shareholders fund and proprietor fund. Both are same. So how much you are getting net profit after tax? One lakh forty four thousand. One lakh forty four plus twenty thousand. What is shareholders fund? Twenty lakhs. I think somewhere I've got shareholders fund also. Twenty lakh. So one lakh sixty four divided by twenty lakhs. Ten point. You can say uh, sizable returns they are getting. Okay. Next could be returns on equity. is also known as only equity shareholders fund that is net profit after tax minus reference dividend Am I right divide by Equity shareholders fund. Only equity, not the proprietor. <clears throat> equity shareholders fund. So how much it is? Net profit after tax I have one lakh forty four thousand. Do we have preference dividend? Fifteen thousand divided by, and what is the equity shareholders fund? Yeah, if it is given six percent on that uh, preference share capital, you can very much calculate. Yes, equity shareholders fund. Okay. 
from shareholders fund just deduct the preference share capital from shareholders fund deduct the preference share capital amount so out of 20 lakh 15 lakh is preference share capital 5 lakh hmm. preference shareholder so the equity shareholders fund is 15 lakhs 200 get me the answer why i am doing this so that by next week even combined ratio part should be over from all of you then we'll start the next topic so all types of ratios are over 8.6 now i believe after this will be having debtors turnover ratio am i right average debtors Is receivable divided by credit is right? Okay, okay. Ulta likh diya kya main? कलेक्शन वाला लिख दिया एवरेज डेटर्स एंड बिल्स रिसीवेबल यस व्हाट इज नेट क्रेडिट सेल्स सेवेंटीन लैक्स एवरेज डेटर्स एंड बिल्स रिसीवेबल एवरेज मे ओपनिंग प्लस क्लोजिंग बट यहाँ पे ओपनिंग डिटेल्स आर नॉट गिवे सो ओनली द क्लोजिंग विल बी टेकन क्लोजिंग डेटर्स एंड बिल्स रिसीवेबल इज हाउ मच क्लोजिंग डेटर्स एंड बिल्स रिसीवेबल One lakh eighty thousand. One lakh eighty thousand. Eighty thousand. Divide karo. Nine point four four. Very good. Almost ten times they could sell and they can get the you know amount from debtors. So the next one is very similar to that. Average collection. Yes. Average. Elections. The car is not very easy. If we need the answer in days to be multiplied by three sixty five, if we want the answer in months to be multiplied by twelve, if we need the answer. So I I will teach you all three. 
सो एक ही क्वेश्चन में आपको सब आ जाएगा थ्री सिक्सटी फाइव डेज और फिफ्टी टू वीक्स और ट्वेल्व मंथ्स सो एवरेज डेटस एंड बिल्स रिसीवेबल वी हैव वन लैख एटी थाउजेंड Divide by seventeen lakhs. Multiply by three sixty-five. How much you are getting? Thirty-eight point six five. इसका मतलब कोई फर्क नहीं आएगा इन वीक्स ऑल्सो इट विल रिमेन सेम मल्टीप्लाई बाय फिफ्टी टू वीक्स गेट मी द आंसर क्या आएगा फाइव अप्रोक्सिक हाँ फाइव पॉइंट फाइव वीक्स एब्सोल्युटली राइट आया एंड वन पॉइंट सम तो आप देख रहे कोई फर्क नहीं होता है तीनों में सेम आंसर आता है अगर मैं कर दिया ट्वेल्व वन पॉइंट समथिंग आएगा हाँ वन पॉइंट टू सेवन आप किसी से भी मल्टीप्लाई करोगे आंसर विल रिमेन सेम ओके नेक्स्ट इज क्रेडिटर्स टर्न ओवर रेशियो नेट क्रेडिट परचेस एवरेज क्रेडिटर्स बिल्स पेबल What is the credit purchase? If nothing is given, consider total purchase as credit purchase only. Eleven <coughs> lakhs. Sorry, how much? Eleven lakhs. Eleven lakhs. Quickly, creditors and bills payable. Closing creditors and bills payable. Creditors is two lakh eighty thousand. Do we have bills payable? Yes, sir. Total four lakh four thousand. That's a two eighty plus one twenty four. Two eighty plus. Get me the answer. Eleven two point seven two times. यहाँ पे कलेक्शन था यहाँ पे पेमेंट हो जाएगा. इसको एज ऑफ डेटर्स बोलते हैं उसको एज ऑफ क्रेडिटर्स बोलते हैं. Average dators. Table credit purchase अब मैं सबका नहीं निकालूंगा only for one year one value I will get so I got this value as four lakh four thousand
divide by 11 max. उससे कोई फर्क नहीं आएगा सबका आंसर ऑलमोस्ट सेम ही आएगा नेक्स्ट आई थिंक नेक्स्ट विल बी अर्निंग पर शेयर और रिटर्न एपीएस होंगे ना वेरी सिंपल नेट प्रॉफिट आफ्टर टैक्स माइनस प्रेफरेंस डिविडेंड डिवाइड बाय नंबर ऑफ डिवाइड बाय नंबर ऑफ इक्विटी शेयर्स ओके बताओ कितना आ रहा है नेट प्रॉफिट आफ्टर टैक्स वी हैव जस्ट नाउ आई टेकन What? How many equity shares we have? If you are not getting per share, say divide. Kar do. You'll get the number of equity share. It can never be in percentage. Have I multiply with hundred? No. So we can't write percentage. How many equity shares we have? Quickly, we have less than a minute. likewise you can calculate all the combined ratio it's very simple yes or no yes sare complete karke abhi do teen hi baki hain wo complete karke sare questions ready rakhna aap log okay by next week number of equity share mila kya aap logo ko i think after this there is a price earning ratio then dividend ratio and then uh, debt service coverage ratio and interest coverage ratio kitna re batao or do one thing after this kindly join for 5 10 minutes we'll finish those four five ratios also yes that will be better rather than keeping it pending yes everyone so tell me how many equity share you got equity share mila abhi tak aap logo ko How many equity shares? Yes. 